This overnight millionaire runs around the rich neighborhood. It almost reveals him as a poor man, because rich people never run to save time. To hide his identity, he booked a presidential suite in a fancy hotel. But strangely, the currency he used to pay for it was the time on his wrist. It turns out that in the future, time really is money. When every man reaches the age of 25, the countdown timer on his wrist will start. Time not only keeps you alive, it can also be used for all kinds of spending. And once time runs out, you can only disappear from this world. That's why the rich get eternal life at birth. While the poor have to work for a living, Will is one of them, and this young woman is his mother. Today is his mother's birthday, but they don't have time to celebrate, because they only have one day left to live. The cruelty of life makes Will work as hard as he can, but his boss takes half of his meager paycheck. Will has no choice but to drink his sorrows away. But a drunken man caught his attention, for this man's life spans a century. But Will isn't the only one who envies him. There's also a time robber who's watching from the sidelines. Will was kind enough to warn the rich man, but the rich man didn't seem to care. Just then, a large number of robbers broke in. This unseen made the rich man sober up. While he was thinking of how to escape, Will was able to save him from the robbers. Then they hid in a warehouse. Will asked the rich man why he was in the slums, but the rich man's answer revealed a shocking truth to Will. It turns out that the tycoon has been alive for 100 years. Alone, he was tired of the world, but there are only a few elite people who can live forever. They manipulate prices with impunity. Most ordinary people can only be squeezed until they die. It's the only way to raise the death rate of the common man, to achieve the balance that the rich want. And then he asked Will a soul-searching question. What would he do if someone gave him 100 years? Will said he wouldn't waste a minute. The rich man didn't say anything. He just looked at him. Will woke up the next day and looked at his wrist. He was surprised to see that he had an extra 100 years. When he got to the window, he saw the words the rich man had left behind. Don't waste my time. It was only then that Will realized the tycoon was on the bridge. But his life was coming to an end. By the time Will got there, the rich man was already dead. Suddenly, with a million dollars, Will was ready to surprise his mother. But his mother doesn't show up on time. To his surprise, she didn't have enough time to pay for her ticket because of the fare increase. But no one on the bus offers a hand. She had no choice but to run home. Just when she saw Will, there were only 10 seconds left in the countdown. She ran as fast as she could to Will. Looking at the cold numbers on his mother's wrist, Will was inconsolable. His mother's death had made him hate the rich and powerful. At that moment, he made an unexpected decision. This poor boy rented a luxury car for the first time, but the driver wouldn't let him in. He rolled up his sleeves. The driver instantly changed his face and dragged him to the rich district. On the way, the man swipes his wrist at every hurdle. The countdown on the top kept decreasing, and he finished the payment smoothly. It turns out that in the future, once people reach the age of 25, a countdown will appear on their wrists. Everyone has only one year left. In a world where money is replaced by time, time can fulfill all human desires, including life of course, and will, who had been given 100 years by accident. He was on his way to the rich man's neighborhood to experience the joys of the rich. But when he arrives in the rich neighborhood, he almost reveals his identity as a poor man. Because in the rich man's world, no one runs to beat the clock. To hide his embarrassment, he booked a presidential suite. After waking up, he remembered the real reason for coming here. The next moment, he's at the fastest money maker in the rich man's neighborhood. Here he was going to gamble with the world's richest man. But the richest man in the world bound 100 years. But for Will, it was almost all he had. But to avenge his mother's death, he had to fight to the death. Luckily, he won the bet with a good hand. This instantly tripled his time. His temperament was recognized by the richest man. Will was invited by him to a dinner party. Will arrives at the richest man's house, and there are three beautiful women who blow his mind. Never in his wildest dreams could he have imagined that these three were actually grandparents and grandchildren. But Will soon finds his favorite. She's the rich man's daughter, Amanda. They couldn't wait to get to the beach in the backyard. Growing up in the ghetto, Will had never seen the ocean. The next thing they knew, a bright green light was coming out of their heads. Will had just returned to the lobby after his bath. Suddenly, a group of timekeepers burst in. It turned out that Will's 100 years of extra time had attracted their attention. So the timekeepers frowned his time. They left him only three hours for interrogation. But Will, who hadn't gotten his revenge yet, wasn't going to go down without a fight. He took out to police officers and others in one swift motion. He escaped down the hall and ran into Amanda. He had the bright idea to kidnap her and drive off in his car. But the police officers, Bill, wasn't going to let him off the hook. There was a chase. Will was able to get out of the car with his excellent driving skills. But just out of the wolf's den, he was in the tiger's den. The car crashed into a roadblock set up by the time robbers. Amanda's wrist was marked with the time, and the robbers were delighted. They were about to take all her time. Suddenly, sirens wailed in the distance, and the robbers fled. When Amanda woke up, 
she realized she only had 30 minutes left to live. Amanda panicked, but what was calm, but what was calm, because he had an idea of how to keep her alive. They went to a public phone booth, who blackmails Amanda's father for a thousand years. A thousand years is nothing to the richest man in the world, but surprisingly, he turned Will down, and that made Amanda hate him. They didn't have much time. They had to go to the pawn shop and trade in their earrings, which were worth 20 years, for two days. Even if it was only two days, it made the two of them appreciate each other for what they'd been through. When they got home, the first thing they did was to play a game of chance. This is the kind of gambling all men can't refuse, because every time he won, the rich girl had to take off a piece of her clothes, just as she was about to lose it all. Fowler came after her. The two of them ran away. The rich girl, Amanda, took Will and robbed the family bank. But it wasn't money they robbed, it was time, because in the future, time means money. The two robbed the bank and gave the rest of their time to the poor. And Will, who was loaded with money, didn't keep the time for himself. Instead, he gave it to the commoners like himself. The rich at the top of the world would not condone his behavior. The timekeepers are still in hot pursuit, but luckily, the two of them bribed the bus driver and managed to escape. Then they hid in a hotel, but they were seen by the time robbers. The robbers immediately appeared in front of them, but the robber didn't rush to rob. He was going to have a big bet with Wool, but he overlooked Wool's good fortune. While the robber was gloating, he was killed by Wool, and so he killed the boss and the rest of the robbers. When Wool escaped, he saw the interest rate on the loan had increased again. He realizes that the time he spent robbing will only add to the burden of the poor. He was so angry, he wanted to put an end to it all. The next thing he knew, Amanda was at the richest man's company. The bodyguard's gun was instantly pointed at her head. When her father shows up, Will swoops in and takes the rich man hostage, and the two of them found their way to the richest man's vault. With the code Amanda guessed, Will was able to open the door, but the timepiece in front of Will's eyes was a revelation. The timer on it is actually a million years old. The richest man still uses the rich man's attitude to belittle the common man. Will was furious when he heard that. He wanted to put an end to all this, but reason stopped him. He wanted to share this infinite time with ordinary people like himself. If he succeeded, it would completely break the rules set by the rich. But the timekeeper wouldn't let that happen. He stopped Will at the gate. Luckily, with his bulletproof car in hand, Will made it back to the civilian area. He gives the timer to the little girl. That puts the civilian area in recharge mode, and they block the timekeepers coming after them. But just as the three faced off against each other, the guard ignored the countdown and went straight to God. At this point, the little ones also have only one minute left. They make a desperate run for the guard's police car, who quickly recharges his time and turns toward Amanda. Amanda was saved in the nick of time. In the end, they broke the rules of society once and for all. Countless civilians flooded into the rich neighborhood, and Will and Amanda continued to rob the rich and give to the poor. They became heroes to all the civilians, and that's the end of the movie. This movie takes us into a world where time is the key to success. As I watched the time on the main character's wrist watch dwindle in the opening scene, it was as if his life was passing by and could come to an abrupt end at any moment. There is no time to waste. People on the street are in a hurry, running along, busy gaining more time to stay alive. At this point, it made me stop thinking of The Time Project as a sci-fi movie. It makes one seriously ponder on the life lessons expressed in the movie. This movie makes us reflect on the value of time and the meaning of life. In the real world, most of us are the civilians in the movie, longing for money, power and fame but neglecting the preciousness of time. Let's cherish every moment, use love and courage to influence and change the world, and create a better future together.